Hi, I'm Kelly North, photographer, visual artist from Corumban in Queensland. Figurative, evocative, poetic. Everywhere, but mainly it's women and the landscape. That's the majority of my work. The landscape always feeds me. Um, the colours, especially our Australian landscape, the, the ruggedness, the resilience of it, and I love to see a soft female form against that ruggedness. I just think that creates a beautiful visual. I'm, I'm hugely inspired also by the, women, the stories of women. Um, my work started from me portraying some of my stories and now the more I talk to other women I've, I realise we share similar stories so definitely women are a huge factor in my work. I am. I am a self-portrait artist and I chose to go down that path for many reasons. One of the main ones is ease and flexibility. My family and I, we camp a lot and travel when we can, so I don't always have access to models. I used to dance, so that's helpful, I realised, because I can jump and move and twist myself into certain positions still. So I, I tend to do that. And I also love the solitary nature of, of working alone, and I like the whole process from being you know, immersing in the water or being in the dirt to the post-production process. And yeah, that, that feeds me. I, I love that whole circular process. My family and I, as I mentioned, we were always camping. We're always out and about. We love being in nature. We bushwalk a lot and I'm always on the hunt for, for interesting locations. Uh, you can't go wrong really where we live it's you've got the beach you've got the hinterland so yeah I'm just looking for interesting places to to shoot and sometimes I'll shoot the background plate when I'm out and about and sometimes I'll take my backpack with costume and all props and things that I need and I'll do it on location this is my studio Welcome. It's based out of my converted garage. It's where I do some of my shoots. Most of my work's done on location, but when I'm working on a composited image, I'll shoot all the elements I need in here. Let's take a look. Pretty simple setup. My costumes. Always on the lookout for a beautiful dress that tells a story. More fabric, the better. People ask me where I source my outfits from and mainly it's just op shops, vintage stores. Yeah. Imagine the woman that wore that. The dresses themselves tell a story on their own. This is my typical setup, a camera on a tripod and I tend to use a remote. It's a long distance remote which allows me flexibility and eliminates shake. I've got my screens, I've got a black, white and a green. The green's fantastic for composited images. I shoot all the elements I need against it and it, with the contrasting colour it just makes it easy for me to cut them out and stitch them together in Photoshop. Bit of a workstation. I always have my test prints stuck up around when I'm working on a series or an image to refer to all the time. My table where I work from with my cellophane and tissue for packaging prints. This one's headed to a client soon. I try to keep it simple. Got a few lenses. 
but I like to keep my pack nice and light for when I am on the road. Yes, I do. I love Photoshop and Lightroom, again, working very simply. And I also love my Wacom tablet. I chose to go down the Wacom tablet and pen path quite a few years ago now, and it just changed my life. I find it really easy to work with. It allows me a bit more fine detail work, um, and I can work almost like a painter. I can actually shade, add shadow, light, dark, and I can really get in there and, and it feels less clunky than a mouse. This series was built after many conversations with a family member who struggles with and has depression and the fact that they needed busyness and noise and people around them all the time. Um, whereas I found it interesting because I was struggling with the busyness and with the noise uh, with two little girls running around all the time, I struggled to find silence in my day. So I found that an interesting contrast and I wanted to portray that visually. The way I did that was when we were traveling down south, I found a beautiful, eerie, dark water hole and um, part of the reason I wanted it to be in water was every time I do get away, I do jump into a body of water and I immerse myself, my ears into the water and it creates this beautiful, muffled, muted silence. Uh, you can hear what's going on around you, but it's really soft and I find space in that. So that's what I did. I jumped in the water, I used some soft fabric and um, the visual of the dark eeriness of the water itself and the softness of the fabrics and the female form in a way was able to take the viewer to either one side of silence or the other the more they viewed it um, and also it's special to me because it was a few pieces was were chosen out of that series to be shown on the tv show the block last year uh, so it was a real gift and I was very proud and honoured to show those pieces in a gorgeous house in Melbourne, St Kilda. So yes, that was quite amazing. I'm the biggest self-critic. I'm a perfectionist and I'm constantly critiquing my own work, I'm sure, as other artists do. But I think I would, well, I know, I would do my work regardless of whether people liked it or not. Um, I do my work because it's almost like a, a ritual that I do. I have to do it. I cannot live without doing it. Um, I've found my thing and I understand that it, it won't connect with everybody and everyone's entitled to their opinion. So when I do get criticism, hopefully it's constructive so I can take it away and I will and I have taken it away and worked on it so that in the end I'm hopefully bettering my work because of it. I'm pretty much self-taught. I picked up my first SLR camera in about 2000 and I traveled everywhere with a heavy DSLR camera. No one could tell me any different. South America, India, Europe, America. I would always have this camera, the, the, the big heavy film camera and um, I'm so thankful that I did because some of the imagery I got is, is great and I can blow it up larger than a point and shoot back in the day. Um, and I learnt the science behind photography. I was, I'm stoked these days that I know, you know, the workings of, of a good photo because um, now I've found the digital side also thrilled about and I did that by studying a diploma of professional photography in 2014 
and it opened my eyes to different genres and the ability to create a piece of art, if you like. Instead of just taking a sharp shot, I was able to blur the lines with all the digital techniques that are available now. So that's, um, that's when my world fell into place, is when I could combine my traditional photography with digital art. And that's what I do these days. So thank you very much for tuning in and listening. I hope you enjoy the work and um, I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.